a child, I watched um, hundreds of movies here. Yeah. Bruce Lee movies, Clint Eastwood movies, and some Urdu movies as well. This was where we used to even uh, run away from school <laughs> and watch movies, not any shows. Not only my, my memories over here, uh, but amazing memories of millions of Pakistanis are attached to cinemas like this one. Well, earlier it was, it was more melodramatic, much more song and dance, lip sync songs, playback singers. In September 2012, Nine of Pakistan's small number of traditional cinemas were attacked and burnt down by mobs. The violence was triggered by a blasphemous YouTube video, but the ruined buildings are a sad reminder of the long decline of Pakistan's once vibrant film industry. Well, there were so many reasons why the Pakistan film industry collapsed. Of course, the more obvious reason was there's a reactionary dictatorship that took over and started putting all sorts of curbs. There was a sort of a feeling that creatively they've gone bankrupt. Because people had started watching some very good Indian films on the VCR and they started comparing it with what they were seeing on big screens as far as Pakistani films. Traditional cinemas that have survived are today CD, rundown and show low quality B movies. Nadeem Manviwala, the owner of a classic Karachi cinema destroyed last year, is investing in modern multiplexes around the country. They have proved enormously popular with a new generation of cinema goers from among Pakistan's rising middle class. But with few local movies being produced, Manviwala's cinemas mostly show imported Bollywood films made in India. Whatever is required at this moment to make, to rebuild, Pakistani cinema, I'm willing to do it and I'm willing to fight for it. So at the moment, the popular demand wanted the Indian films. Yes, why not? That, if that is the vehicle which is going to rebuild our cinema, it's fine with me. A new wave of slick, locally produced movies is raising hopes for a revival in the fortunes of the Pakistani film industry. Morkai, a film that Nadeem Manviwala helped bankroll, tells the story of a family pulled apart by corruption on Pakistan's troubled railways. Well, right now Indian cinema is hit in Pakistan. And I know I can't do it better than them. I can't make the Bang 3. They have bigger budgets. They have better dancers. So we have stories. We don't depend on the masala. So just like Irani cinema, they can't do certain things, so they came up with these amazing stories. High-end digital cameras of a type normally found in Hollywood have enabled the makers of The Extortionist to produce an ambitious spy thriller about a sleeper agent working for the CIA. This film is about the things that are affecting Pakistan, and especially the, the terrorism and the unrest in the country at the moment. Come on, what are we looking at? I just want my thing. There's no need to be a bad guy. This is the life of life, right? I don't want to die without the eyes of the note. If you hurt her, I'm going to kill you. With new cinemas being built and new films in production, some hope that Pakistan may one day start exporting its own unique style of films to India's huge cinema market. Comparatively, Pakistan and India are in the similar situation like England and America, with the same languages. England today can never make an Indiana Jones, but England still makes a Shakespeare in Love and get recognized. So we have the same chance. We will not be able to make a Dabang 2, but we will be able to make a Shakespeare in Love.
in the future. Today's filmmakers, since uh, they're starting from scratch, they don't have uh, any continuity with the old filmmakers, they're in a conflict. They don't know exactly what a good film these days would be in Pakistan. Should it be the old-fashioned social drama, which lots of masala and songs? Should it be just a comedy to distract people from what's happening in Pakistan? Or should it be a comment, a pointed comment on what's happening in Pakistan? So they're still searching exactly for the right formula. And it'll come. It'll come. 